So first of all, I'm not a chainsaw mechanic. I'm just following the instructions. This is now. I'm going to drop a blue Loctite where the threads are going here in a minute. Sorry about all the waving around. Stand by. here <clears throat> here's the old one and it's got a spring in there because when you get your part for a 036 still that's the part number. I'll cut half of it off. Or this thing. <laughs> okay. The spring keeps the hose from collapsing. Pretty smart. The brass. Gizmo. Goes in this end. Once the hose is cut to length. There's the pliers. Another shot of the pliers. Another shot of the pliers. If you go online and look at it, speaking of pliers, you want to do that to them. They'll still work, they'll still cut, they'll still pinch, but they'll also grab hose and put it on without crushing it. That's pretty much the, the story right now. I got water boiling. Because this stuff is stiff, very hard material. I'm going to try to put boiling water on it and get it to go in there first. If this hose goes on first, let me bolt it down. After running the oil line out through the hole, and you get your link set up, cut it off. And somewhere around here, is that thing. And see how it goes. I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, I made a start, softened it up a little bit. I'm 
I understand the point of having a stiff tubing. If you want that uh, bar oiling, you want, don't want to have a hose collapse. Hmm. He's a tough little rascal. A little grease. If I had WD-40 here, I'd try that, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use some my all-time favorite hair clipper oil. Getting boring. Well, it worked. I put the base against a wood bench, gripped it with the pliers, and then uh, used my hammer to tap it down. <laughs> All right.
doesn't want to slide right in there. Calls for 2.9 inches. And to me, that's back here somewhere. So I tapered the end. Yeah, got it. Not easy. Okay, this is going to be over. You guys watching? See where my finger is? It's pointing that way. When I get done here. So we'll just uh, ease this along out of here a little bit. What I'm doing here is uh, binding the screw holes up.
one and two. Tighten it up, not slamming it shut. Looks like this could go back that way. Take the tension off. supposed to happen and cut it off and down there even straight across Slide the spring in to keep it from collapsing. Push it in with a rod or a drill bit or something that fits inside diameter. And close it all off with that. Okay, I thought about this for a bit. What I'm going to do I'm going to pull that up just like that straight as I can get it. And cut it off with a razor knife. Insert the spring, insert the brass thing, and then tap it back towards the pump. Down into the hole. It's got room for a little bit of slack down in here. That's my plan. Instead of they, I think they're indicating, even though there's no words on this diagram, I think they're indicating you take it back off again or cut it to length in the first place or some other trick. Anyway, i got to answer the phone. Okay, I've decided to do that. Like that, I guess. Cuts easy. Now. There's a hole. There's a spring. The way the directions read, they don't say anything. There's no words at all on it, except still. This won't fit through that, so this has to go. This has to go in first. If you look at the paper and put the brass thing in first, then it won't fit. This spring goes in first. Makes sense. So I'll do that and then come back. Or I'll just leave it running. What the heck? I'm trying out this microphone again. Let's see if I can adjust it. There you go. About like that, yeah. Yeah, I'll adjust the glasses. Put the spring in like that, and then I gathered this up to push the spring in. Let's 
try the next size bigger. I don't think it'll go. No, it won't go. Yeah, that's how it fits. Sorry about the wobbling around. There's a cutoff piece that goes in there. You claim. Hmm. It's not gonna push in there easy, but it'll push. I can't be holding the camera doing it. I'll see you after a while. I guess that's all right. I'm gonna use this. You're on film. Thank you for controlling the dog. Yeah, you're on film. I'm live. Well, it's going. The idea is not to collapse the barrel. Still got a sixteenth or so to go. Where is it? Get in there. Almost. And the hooks are that round down there. Starts here. That barrel's gonna expand the hose to tighten up up there so it doesn't leak. And then the hose comes around down here. goes under that nipple. I didn't measure it, I just cut it to fit. All right, I gotta finish up. I think I need something straight, so that goes straight in. No, I don't wanna open that thing up anymore. Looks good. Where is it? Oh, there it is, over here. See it in there? Happy days. I'll show you that paper one more time. If you get a steel kit, This is what you get. The end. Let's talk about the pliers for a second. They probably sell pliers like this or with a hole like that. What I did is I started it with this from both sides and just went into the first hole. It doesn't like to do it very much because those are hardened. And then I finished it out with a chainsaw file. 
rounded the ends over so it supposedly wouldn't scratch. I'm going to have to sand it. I see some marks in that tubing. But uh, if you don't have one, you make one. By the way, there is a still YouTube video, I think, that talks about doing that. Or maybe it was on, that's what it was, it was on somebody else's video and he said he wasn't going to ruin his pliers, but I went ahead and ruined mine. And they work great. And they still work, as originally intended. Now, I'll, uh, I'll go in and process that video and put it up. Adios.